Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. x plus root y is equal to 18 and root x plus y is equal to 8. Our job is to find all possible values of x and y such that x and y are positive integers. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. First uh, from equation 1 we subtract equation 2. So this will become x plus uh, root y minus root x plus y is equal to 18 minus 8. We remove brackets this will become x plus uh, root y minus root x minus y is equal to 18 plus 8 10. Now we combine these two terms x and negative y and we combine these two terms root y and negative root x. So this will become x minus y plus root y minus root x is equal to 10 x x minus y we use parenthesis to make this a group we use the negative sign before these two terms so this uh, negative root x will become positive root x and this positive root y will become negative root y is equal to 10 Now this x can be written as a root x whole squared minus this y can be written as a root y whole squared. Minus this root x minus root y is equal to 10. We have difference of uh, two squares, uh, so by using this algebraic identity, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus uh, b times uh, a minus b. This is root x squared minus uh, root y squared will become root x plus uh, root y times uh, root x minus root y minus this root x minus root y is equal to 10. As you can see this expression root x minus root y is a common factor. So we factor out this uh, root x minus root y and uh, in back left uh, this uh, root x plus root y root x plus uh, root y minus 1 from here is equal to 10. Now we have a product of uh, two factors at the left hand side and both x and y are positive integers. So this 10 can be factorized as uh, 1 times 10 or 10 times 1 and 2 times 5 and 5 times 2. So this first factor root x minus root y can be equal to this 1, 10, 2 and 5. 1, 10, 2 and 5. In this uh, second factor root x plus uh, root y minus 1 can be equal to this 10, 1, 5 and uh, 2. 10, 1, 5 and uh, 2. And we add uh, these two equations. So this negative root y will be cancelled out with this positive root y. This 
1 times root x plus 1 times root x will become 2 times root x. This negative 1 minus 1 is equal to 10 plus 1 is 11 and this 10 plus 1 is 11. 2 plus 5 is 7 and this 5 plus 2 is 7. Now, we add 1 to both sides. So, this will become this get cancelled and we are left with 2 times root x is equal to 11 plus 1 is 12, 11 plus 1 is 12, 7 plus 1 is 8 and this 7 plus 1 is 8. Now, if we divide both sides by 2, this implies that uh, root x uh, is equal to 12 divided by 2 is 6, 12 divided by 2 is 6, 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. And uh, if we square both sides, uh, this implies that uh, x is equal to 6 squared is uh, 36. Again, 36 and 4 squared is 16. Again, 16. It means from here we get two values of x. x is equal to 36 and x is equal to 16. Now, to find the values of y, we recall equation 2. Equation 2 is root x plus y is equal to 8. Equation 2 is root x plus y is equal to 8. So, when x is equal to 36, then this equation will become root 36 plus y is equal to 8. And uh, root 36 is uh, 6 plus uh, y is equal to 8. Subtract 6 from both sides. This implies that uh, y is equal to 2. So, when x is equal to 36, uh, then y will be 2. When x is equal to 16, then uh, this equation will become root 16 plus uh, y is equal to 8 and uh, root 16 is uh, 4 plus uh, y is equal to 8. If we subtract uh, 4 from both sides, this implies that uh, y is equal to 4. So, when x is equal to 16, then y is equal to 4. It means uh, we get uh, two pairs of solutions uh, x comma y is equal to first pair is 36 comma 2 and the second pair is 16 comma 4. Now, let us verify and see that whether these pairs of solutions are valid or not. To verify, we use the original equations. The first equation is x plus root y is equal to 18. And the second equation is uh, root x plus uh, y is equal to 8. First, we check this pair 36 and 2. So, this will become x is 36 plus uh, root y is 2 is equal to 18. And 36 plus root 2 cannot be equal to 18. It means that uh, this solution 36 comma 2 is not valid. This will be rejected. Now, we check this uh, second pair 16 and 4. So, this equation will become x is uh, 16 plus uh, root y is 4 is this equal to 18. And 16 plus uh, root 4 is 2 is this equal to 18. 16 plus 2 is 18 is equal to 18. You can see that uh, left hand side is equal to the 
right hand side now in this equation we put these values this will become root 16 plus uh, y is 4 is this equal to 8 so this root 16 is uh, 4 plus uh, this 4 is this equal to 8 and 4 plus 4 is 8 is equal to 8 you can see that uh, left hand side is equal to the right hand side means that uh, this pair 16 comma 4 is a valid solution 